Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're gonna be a Halloween makeup tutorial on Leatherface Pretty Woman Mask from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And before I get started on this video, I would like to give a sh big shout out to Spooky Kisses on Instagram, which who inspired me to do this look and I'm low-key recreating it, but hikey. So I'm gonna start with the Stay Matte Rimmel Primer that I got from Amazon for five bucks. It's not the best, but it's protecting my pores, so that's all that matters. <laughs> um, throughout the month of October, I'm gon going to be trying to do more Halloween makeup tutorial looks whenever I have the time because a girl is a college student. <laughs> so for this look, I'm just going to have one eyebrow, clearly. <laughs> and yeah, I'm using this new Ben Eye Clown White um, Clown Grease. Well, not Grease Makeup, but like Clown makeup but it's super good girl like it's like it costs us seven to nine bucks but there's a lot and you can use this for concealer foundation in other words i'm trixie mattel not a kardashian i don't do that natural shit i like to be cake face as fuck and as you can see ben nice clown white is super good for concealer like i can't afford no p louise but i can afford some clown makeup like yes girl no hate to the people that do natural looks it's just not my cup of tea i like to look like a halloween decoration right off spirit halloween that's just my vibe i fucking love it and you do you boo just as long as you don't talk shit about my face then we're gucci <laughs> that's the golden rule so now i'm gonna be blending in this clown white all over my face like i'm gonna be using the alessa edwards palette and the morphe times james charles or the collaboration however same thing I look ugly. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be using this flat brush and I'm gonna use the white shade from the Alyssa Edwards palette. This is a Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, by the way, and I'm gonna apply the white on my brow bone to get my bone snatch. So now with this two end brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm gonna use a fluffier part and use the darker blue. I think it's called Brother on the James Charles palette. And I'm just going to apply that on my outer crease and I'm going to blend it out so it doesn't look like a stamp. <laughs> so now with this blue shade from the ABH palette from Alyssa Edwards, I'm going to put it on top of Brothers. And I'm just going to blend them both so it can look beautiful. Now using this lighter blue shade on the James Charles palette, now I'm going to move that crease into the middle and now into the center and the inner crease, but I'm just blending it out smoothly. And now using the shimmery blue shade, I'm going to put it on top of my brow bone so it can look awesome. And now I'm going back with these same shade and putting it in my inner corner so it can pop and now going again <laughs> and I'm putting it right in the middle. Girl, I didn't even have to spend 60 some dollars on blue blood. No shade, but shade there. Mm -mm. My blending comes out really good when I only wear the makeup for five minutes. <laughs> so now using a face sponge, I'm going to go at that Ben Nye Clown White. I'm not gonna add an eyebrow to that side of the eye and I'm just going to apply it everywhere on my first third of the head or the face. So now using baby powder that costed a dollar at CVS, I'm not using the bougie stuff, so I'm leaving some to the moms out there. Um, I'm holding my breath because the main ingredient of this baby powder is talc, and just like your eyeshadow palettes, it does have talc, and you're not supposed to be breathing it in, so that's why I'm holding in my breath. So now using this small, small flat brush, and now using the black and the ABH palette, I am going to outline the triangle of that piece that Leather Face has going on with this mask, like the ripples and shit. <laughs> and I'm just gonna outline it and then fill it in. When I mean about the baby powder, obviously I'm not gonna keep buying, buying, buying. A one big dollar bottle will last me a whole lifetime, so please, do it generously leave things for the moms out there that really need it also i don't want to spend 10 to 19 dollars on the powder so now using the blown smoke palette i am going to use the ripples like the light gray shades and all basically most of the shades in this palette but you'll see since i don't have um any fx makeup like the gum and stuff to create those 
riffles or whatever cripples ugh, not that sorry um i'm just gonna create an illusion by using the shades and now with using the blue shade i am going to be adding it towards the outer of the triangle at neighbor's dog what's the next step just kidding so i'm gonna be using the small tattoo eyeliner from kat von d and the shade jet black and i am going to create like st stitching wounds illusions by just using the eyeliner And if you don't know how to do them, just do like a big line and add like crosses, like lines across it. So now I'm going to be filling in the rest of my face using the Ben 9 Clown White and this reusable sponge so I can look pale AF. <laughs> Also, how have you guys been? I know it's been like eight, no, 10 months already into the pandemic, but how y'all been? Okay, now I gotta get the rest of my neck because I don't wanna be looking like Jim Carrey from The Mask, I guess, even though I already look like that 24 seven. But just, yeah, blend it in. And then you're gonna put the baby powder all over your face. It doesn't have to be baby powder, but if you can afford some $10, $20 shit like me for powder, whatever it works. Keep it humble you know so now going to that light blue shade with the fluffy part of the brush i am going to do underneath my eyes i am going to do like a ombre version of that but i'm just gonna keep it simple nothing dramatic wow professional youtuber at its finest so now i'm gonna use this dark blue again and go underneath my eyes so i can match up to the outer crease so i can like blend it and with the flat part of that brush, I'm going to the shimmery light blue and I am going to apply it in my inner corners. Also on the triangle side, use that small flat brush and put black underneath your eyeball or your waterline so it can match up with the triangle. And then add little touches to your fake stitch wounds. Now with this contour brush, I am going to be using this light orange or medium orange and I'm going to be using my cheeks. As you can see by how ugly the side of my jaw is with the Ben Nye Clown White, that's why I said that the primer isn't the best. But yeah, keep on doing it on both sides. The blush kind of came out horrid due to the primer. I don't know, this primer is like a hit and miss and it was like both on my face, you know? And I just cut the cheek carvings with a flat brush. Okay, so now I'm going into my nose contour because I don't like my big old nose. So yeah, I'm just gonna contour it. Also, I'm adding a pink shade so it can match my blush. And now with the liquid eyeliner by e.l.f. and the shade Jet Black, I am going to go over my eyebrows so it can do an ombre effect. Because I prefer darker eyebrows on me than light, light brown. It just looks weird. And then I'm going to be doing my eyeliner on both eyes, believe it or not. So now what you're seeing, I'm tracing the triangle by making the lines go curvy and I'm creating like a little side wing and now I'm going to create the stitch wounds illusion on my forehead, like posty here, post Maloney. And now with a darker brown shadow, I'm going to be blending in the black eyeliner with the light brown. So now with this white eyeliner from NYX, I'm going to go on top of the stitch wounds so it, so it can give it that illusion that it looks like real stitch wounds, but it's not. And I am going to repeat this technique on the forehead. So now you're using the Beauty Benefits Mascara from the Dollar Store because yeah, I'm on a budget. I am going to be um, topping a coat on my lashes because we don't wear lashes on this channel anymore. I have one irritated eye that gets super irritated easily. And now with this highlight highlighting palette from Kat Von D Vegan Beauty, I'm going to use this flat brush and I'm going to use the blue shade so I can highlight my face. Oh, 
Also, I can't believe this palette is on sale for like 15 or 10 bucks. And look at the fucking glow. Look at the shade range. And now using this red lips from LA Colors from the dollar store, I am going to create the lip illusion from the Pretty Woman mask. It's going to be messy, wiggly as fuck. Dear neighbor's dog, what's the next step again? Oh, now you ain't barking. Oh. So now using this Glimmer Veil lip topper that is so beautiful from Kat Von D Vegan Beauty, I am going to put it on top so it can look shimmery and glittery and cute. And now using tissue, um, any eyelash glue, I am going to be ripping the tissue paper and I'm going to be applying the parts that look really good with eyelash glue on the bottom of my chin so I can look like the mask, the bottom of the mask. I don't know how to describe it, but you know what I'm saying. It ain't that bad from working with the stuff I got at home, but look, if you squint and close your eyes all the way through, you'll see it. <laughs> it looks like the mess, not like some fake toilet paper beard that I smeared with caquita on my, the bottom of my chin. <laughs> and now I'm just adding some little details to the triangle side so it can look like more ripple effects because I feel like it didn't look good enough. And now with a curling iron, I'm going to be curling my short little hair and make it match like the mask because i know he has short curly hair but instead i came out looking like <laughs> cheryl temple but crackhead version <laughs> so i just got like a white button up uh my boyfriend's tie a cardigan and some fancy looking pants and i called it a leather suit cosplay outfit and you'll see it right now like look it's coming along i look like shit but it's coming along girl like mm on a budget hauling costumes inside the house party because COVID-19 and some people are being stupid and don't stay inside their house. What? Also, Halloween isn't over. You can always like dress up, get a bunch of candy, watch a movie with yourself or Skype a friend or your boyfriend that already lives in the house. Like, please be smart. Oh, don't shit the stick. Anyways, this is the end of the look and it looks so good. Look at that. You know what? This doesn't look like Walmart. This looks like a Kmart version of Leatherface, and I'm proud to say that because, hey, it doesn't look like Walmart nor the dollar store. So, damn, I came out looking good. I tried getting some good shots, but the mosquitoes here in Texas were biting my fucking ass like if I had a juicy ass, in which I don't. Okay, so anyways, if you liked today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment And if I killed this challenge. And if you didn't like this video, oh well, just give it a like, okay? Be nice to me. I don't know. COVID-19 is being a bitch to me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Wear a fucking mask, Karens.